Hello, Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and Halo Infinite is about to completely change forever with the next mid-season update. On December 5th, which is like tomorrow, there's going to be a massive increase in content for Halo Infinite, including Firefight, more Forge updates, ranked and custom game browser improvements, new equipment, networking, and more quality of life updates. But before we get into the video, I just wanna say thank you to everybody that's been supporting the channel. We are grinding away towards 15,000 subscribers and I know 90 something percent of you who watch the videos aren't subscribed. So we would easily hit that if a couple of you just hit that subscribe button. Let's get into the video. Now we all know about Firefight and all that, but I actually wanna kinda highlight first the stability and networking section from the Waypoint article. They say that this update is also focused on increasing the game's stability by addressing crashes. They say that along with the additions and quality of life updates above, this update is also focused on increasing the game's stability by addressing crashes and improving our online experience via updates to our networking. Unicheck did tweet out a little bit ago that they were working on like a complete overhaul to the networking stuff hopefully getting rid of desync and just the awful ping lag that is in this game because even if you play on like 50 ping on this game it feels like you're playing on 300 ping and you know a different game it's just really bad they later say that they're working on a more comprehensive overhaul of the system the first glimpse of this updated networking model will land on december 5th with the december update you'll be able to jump into firefight king of the hill playlist and try out the new networking model in a safe environment they say that they're doing this because they can see how it behaves at scale before enabling it in a pvp mode so they tell us to dive in blast the banish and let us know how it feels if the results are promising, they'll look to host a PvP experience in the combat workshop in the future. Honestly, this is like the last thing that I really have an issue with with the game is the networking side of things because it just feels like I get shot through rocks and walls and sometimes my bullets don't connect and it's just frustrating. Especially if you're playing in a competitive environment like the ranked modes. You just feel like you're cheated out of kills. Okay, next up, we're gonna talk about Firefight. There's gonna be nine maps when the playlist goes live, including three that are community made. I wonder if we're gonna see any type of like rewards for like doing well or, you know, hitting achievements or playing a certain amount of time. They haven't said anything about it, so I wouldn't get my hopes up. But I hope that it's hard. I hope that it is difficult. The ODST version, I think, was probably my favorite because it really felt like a survival mode, but I guess we'll see. Next up is the Repair Field. It's a neutral piece of equipment that will heal allies and enemies and yourself, but it will also repair vehicles. And you can actually attach it to like a wasp or a warthog. It says that it will also revive down Spartans in modes like Firefight, Attrition, and etc. I hope that it's not like extremely overpowered, but we'll see. Just a quick touch on the adjustments to the ranked playlist that I think are probably the most important that you want to hear about the most is if someone on my fire team quits and then I quit, will I get a penalty? Yes, you will lose up to five CSR just like today. But if someone on the other team quits, can I quit with no penalty? Yes. If someone not on my fire team quits, but we stay and lose the game, how much CSR would I lose? Zero. What happens if a teammate quits crashes while loading in? They say that the first quit after the match starts will receive a full penalty, but after that all players are able to leave without penalty, which is amazing. Next up is Forge updates, and I think that this they are killing it with Forge right now. I, I, it's the best thing literally like in gaming, I feel. But they're adding all the high value targets and bosses into Forge. And they're adding all the major bosses such as Jega, Eshram, and the Harbinger. One of the other big issues that I think kind of plagued the game was how the custom games browser worked. And it looks like they're fixing a lot of the issues with that. You can now join session as a fire team as long as there are enough spots available. The fire team leader can bring their entire party into a custom game browser session. Very cool. I feel like the custom games browser is a very important part going forward for Halo Infinite, especially with what everybody is making in Forge and those type of experiences you can have. So I look forward to seeing how they are going to, you know, just keep upgrading it. With PvE finally coming to the game, it does kind of feel like Infinite has really hit its stride, and I guess we'll see, like, what kind of updates come later on now. I feel will really tell us what the future of the game is going to look like, because if this is like it, and then, you know, the seasons and stuff, we don't get a lot of huge additions and stuff, maybe that really does mean they're working on a new game. But let me know in the comments down below how you feel if you're excited for all this content coming, and I will catch you guys around the ring. Peace!